Extracorporeal shockwave technology, or ESWT, was introduced to medical practice over 20 years ago for fragmentation of kidney stones, also known as lithotripsy. As time passed, it became evident that ESWT also had bone and soft tissue healing effects. Pulsed acoustic cellular expression, also known as PACE technology, was developed based on a specific proprietary protocol of focused shockwaves that promote wound healing and wound closure. Dermapace is the first system developed to deliver PACE energy, specifically for the improvement and healing of wound conditions. As the Dermapace applicator is applied to the wound surface, high-energy PACE waves are transmitted directly into the wound bed, initiating a biological mechanism of wound healing. As the PACE waves penetrate the microcirculatory system, there is an immediate acute, positive, inflammatory response increasing functional capillary perfusion and vessel permeability. Leukocytes, or white blood cells, begin to roll and stick to the vessel walls, finally transmigrating through the vessel wall into the wound bed tissue. This increase in leukocytes activation may assist in the inflammatory phase of wound healing by triggering vessel endothelial cells and initiating proangiogenic factor production, effectively allowing the wound to move through the inflammatory phase and into the proliferation phase. The cells that make up the wound bed are also affected by pace waves. The pace waves apply shear forces to the cells, which initiates a biological response at a cellular level called cellular expression. Cellular expression includes the production and release of pro-angiogenic as well as pro-inflammatory factors. Growth factors such as vascular endothelial growth factor or VEGF, nitric oxide synthase, von Willebrand factor, and others lead to increased cellular proliferation and tissue regeneration. Almost immediately and over the next few weeks, an angiogenic response will initiate the revascularization process to create new microcirculation in the wound bed. This increase in microvascularization will enable better perfusion to the wound area, enabling wound healing and closure and may minimize the chance that a chronic wound will reoccur.